Hey now, I'm back with another trading system review. In this installment of Traders Landing, I'm going to take the concepts from this secret mindset video and turn it into a complete trading system that has been proven profitable over a series of 100 consecutive trades. Just make sure to stay through the end where I give you my five optimization tips that will really surge those results. And if you want to see more content like this, then run through that subscribe button like I call this system the double bounce and it uses five free trading view indicators. As always, links and settings to all indicators are listed in the description below. The first indicator is the volume weighted average price or VWAP. I am going to keep the settings and style at default. The VWAP consists of three lines. First, the VWAP line itself. Second, the upper band, and third, the lower band. The VWAP is generally used as an intraday indicator and has similar movement characteristics to a standard moving average. However, unlike standard MAs, this study incorporates volume in an attempt to determine trend direction. One thing to note, at standard settings, the VWAP will reset at the close of the trading day. In this system, we are going to use the VWAP bands to confirm our entries. The second free trading view indicator is another volume weighted moving average, but on this study, I am going to set the standard deviation band multiplier at 2 and keep the default style. The second VWAP will be used for an additional price level entry confirmation. The third study is the trading session indicator. I will set the time zone to highlight 2000 hours to 400 hours and shade the background in red. This non-mathematical indicator will shade the areas 4 hours before and after the daily close to avoid the VWAP reset. I will only be taking setups out outside the shaded areas. The third study is the Qualitative Quantitative Estimation Mod, or QQE. Inputs will be kept at default. The QQE mod incorporates the RSI and the ATR in an attempt to chart market conditions. On this chart, the QQE oscillator will be used to spot divergences. The final study are Heikinachi candles. Inputs and style will be kept at default. Heikinachi means average bar in Japanese. These bars are similar to standard Japanese candlesticks, but are are calculated differently and are used by many traders to filter out market noise. In this system, the Heikinachi candles will be used for our triggers. Let's go over entry criteria and review some examples. As always, system rules and details are listed in the description below. This chart is Bitcoin versus the US dollar, 5 minute candles. The rules to enter along on the double bounce are first, price must be 4 hours away from the VWAP reset out of the red shaded area. Second, price must either close or touch one of the lower VWAP bands. Next, we are looking for bullish divergence on the QQE mod. You can see here, we have a lower low on price and a higher low on the QQE mod. Finally, there is a green Heikinachi candle that closes above the VWAP band. All the conditions are met when this candle closes. That is our trigger candle. We place our stop below the swing low and target two to one and this setup hits our target. If you enjoy this content, make sure to click that like button. I have one more long example. Price is outside the red shaded area. Price touches the bottom VWAP band. Then we can see bullish divergence on the QQE mod. There is a lower low on price and a higher low on the QQE. Everything converges on this candle and it serves as our trigger. The stop is placed below the swing low and two to one is our target. And after a while, this one hits our target. Now we flip to shorts. This is what I will test for shorts. First, price is four hours away from the VWAP outside the red shaded area. Then price touches an upper VWAP band. Third, there is bearish divergence on the QQE mod we can see a higher high on price and a lower high on the QQE. Fourth, a red Heikinachi candle closes below the upper VWAP band. All the criteria is met when this candle closes. That is our trigger candle. The stop is placed above the swing high and our target is two to one and this one hits our target. I'm gonna show you one more quick short example. First, price is outside the red shaded area. Second, price closes above the upper VWAP band. Next, there is divergence on the QQE oscillator, a higher high on price and a lower high on the indicator. Then we can see a red Heikinachi candle close below the upper VWAP band. All of our entry rules are met on this trigger candle. The stop is placed above the previous swing high and the target is 2 to 1. 
and this one hits the target level. I'm gonna give you some intriguing ideas on how we can make this system better along with a trader's landing score. And now it's time to do what I do. If you enjoy this content, please hit that like button. Remember, this is just 100 tests on one instrument. If you are thinking of using this system, please do all the required testing and be sure to let our community know what you discover. This test was done on Bitcoin versus the US dollar, five minute candles. It took a brisk two and a quarter months to find the 100 setups that met all the rules. Most wins and losses in a row equal each other at six. The win rate here was 56% with a total gross gain on account being 67% risking one percent per trade. And remember, I'm going to give you my five optimization tips that will make this strategy endure better over a larger data set. The equity curve here is what most traders would like to see. We start right away with an impulsive move up, followed by a short duration drawdown from the six losses in a row. And then the second half of the test ends up with a huge impulsive move. If we look at all the trades taken, but on the four hour chart, you can see that this system actually performs better when the higher time frame is a bit more choppy. That is because this this system is not a trend following system and seems to do better during these more ranging market conditions. What score would you give this strategy? Let me know in the comments below. I give this system a trader's landing score of eight because as many of you know, I am a trend trader, but the data seems to indicate this may work well during consolidation, but only more testing will confirm for sure. Remember the enemy of great is good. I have five ideas on how we can improve this system. The first idea to optimize the strategy is to move the stop to break even after the position hits one to one. That would have filtered out these three losing trades in a row and would most likely radically increase your gain on account. The second optimization tip, which should be compared with the first, is moving the stop to break even when the first opposite VWAP ban is hit. I am not sure which works better, but one of these methods should be implemented. The next suggestion would be to deploy the SSL hybrid like I used in this video as extra confirmation. You can see on this chart that the SSL hybrid can act as confluence in lieu of the QQE mod. Here is another example where the SSL hybrid gets you into. Just briefly going over some limited examples, it may work better with this particular strategy. Next, and this tip is quite powerful and is a big change to this system. Look at this chart. You can see where the VWAP lines up with the 200 EMA and we get a great reaction. And on this chart, it actually happens twice. Combining confluence with these two particular indicators will produce much less signals, but they will be very strong indeed. Furthermore, if we take the last point and add hidden divergence, you are talking about really upping your game. Look on this chart where we get a reaction on both the VWAP and the 200 EMA along with hidden bullish divergence on the QQE mod oscillator. You can see here we have a lower low on on the indicator and a higher low on price. How can you not take that trade? Check out this playlist for more profitable systems and have a great day because you deserve it.